am I allowed to mention that I came up with a name? Oh, you can. You, you should. So um, I'm here with Chef from Aqua for All talking about 306. Now, I'm really excited about this because um, I came up with the name, but sort of kind of by accident. Some, the, I was in Istanbul with Henk and Mark Vestra, Henk, Henk Holtzlag, and they were trying to come up with a good name for this. So it's amazing a year and a half later to see it moving somewhere. I wonder if you could tell us a bit more about it. 306 is a wonderful name for marketing options for the households, the poor households, to get access to safe water. That's what 306 is all about. What we want to do is to provide safe water to 300 million people in six years' time. 300 in six years. That's, and, and it helps in marketing that movement. The options we promote are very simple, affordable, and accessible options. Of course, there is a variety in choice. People can really choose what they want. They can also choose what fits best within their specific private situation. But it, at least it contributes to an improved quality of water. As you know, the majority of diarrhea, the majority of malaria, the majority of typhus is all waterborne yeah. disease. So, because we're here, I mean, we're here at Stockholm World Water Week, and a big part of the theme this year is that just focusing on, on providing supply of household water um, has, isn't enough. It's the, the quality of that water is absolutely crucial. Especially when the water is transported and distributed through different channels. You can buy the water on water kiosks, you can buy the water from standposts, from standpipes, but then still you have to bring it to your house and the, the, the risk for contamination is so enormous that at least you should have an option on household level, on, on kitchen level, to those liters you consume that you pass them either through a household filter or you, you treat them with some chemicals. So I, I was going to say, what, what, kind of, what kind of treatments are, are common here and how many are there? Is it just a few? We consider three groups. We consider the filters, which are household filters. The majority are ceramic household filters. Yeah. But in the ceramics, they are in, uh, impregnated with silver oxide. And silver it has, a, has a killing effect on viruses and bacteria. The second option is chemicals. The problem with chemicals is every time again you have to add a chemical tablet to your container. And when the tablets are finished, you have to go to the store, if not your bag. And it only takes a few yeah. days to And then the third Ill. option is the storage option. People store their water, either catch it from rooftop yeah. or catch it from the water vendor, but then this water should be treated in such a way that you contain, contain it for a longer time. So we were. Um, so, so where are you at? What, what organisations have you got on board with this up to now? Um, in, within three hundred six, a uh, majority of the HWTS network, the Household Water Treatment and Storage Network, which is an international network of NGOs, researchers, and universities, they are on board. They support the three hundred six. We have specifically, we have four NGOs now working on research and we just brought out a very interesting report from eight promising and proven successful proven successful business yes. models. So safe water at the base of the pyramid. Yes. We have studied on eight models and these eight models they have been assessed on their uh, viability and on their uh, uh, appropriateness. From this study now we are going to start a new one together with some big investment funds who showed their interest in what are the most viable, the most profitable business models worldwide. We will do that together with members from Ashoka Network and they will give uh, at least a report for funders to convince them if they want to direct some money, where the money could be... So do you have a sense used? of where the balance may end up being between development aid grants, you know, government-based grants and corporate grants? Because clearly this is something you can imagine corporations oh, getting involved with at a product level, being able to attach projects to products. You, you can imagine that some multinationals, and I don't even need to mention yeah. 
uh, Tata, Unilever, DSM, they are focusing on this kind of uh, devices because there is a market for it. That's the market of the base of the pyramid. That are the, is the market for people, little money, but money to spend every day. We try, maybe we, that's our ambition at least, we want to beat the mobile telephone uh, business market with household water business. <laughs> great. Well, Chef, it'll be great to see how this goes. And um, I keep you informed. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.